The first thing I will tell you is I've invented nothing. Everything I'm going to talk to you today, I've learned through trial and error, through listening and talking to other great teachers, and watching players, good swings, bad swings, and making my own decisions on what I think works and what, what I think doesn't work. I'm not a person that believes in a system, because I don't believe any two players are the same. What I would tell one person might be the complete opposite of what I would tell someone else, but it's because they have a different problem. And I want to share with you today the stuff that I've learned from the two greatest teachers that I've known in my life. Number one, my father. Number two, John Jacobs from England. I have learned more from those two people than a whole combination of anyone else in my life. And I think the reason being is because they believed to make teaching simple. It was about path, club face angle, and impact, which are probably the most important things in golf, is impact. My dad had a great line. He would tell us when we were younger, when you teach, you need to teach at a second grade level, meaning a second grader can understand what you're talking about. With the advent of so much technology these days, with track mans and flight scopes and the various stuff you guys use that I use, video and everything, I think the art of communication is lost and the art of watching the ball is lost. As a young professional growing up and even before that when I was a young junior golfer and watching my dad teach the best players in the world, I started to understand that he got everything he needed off the golf ball. The direction the golf ball started, the spin on the golf ball, whether it went up, down, trajectory of it, gave him an instant awareness of the path of the swing and the club face angle at impact. I think today that's been lost. I watch so many young teaching professionals that are enamored with TrackMan. I'm not an anti-TrackMan person. We use stuff at our schools all over the world like that. I think it has its place, but it's not the end all. I watch even some of the young professionals on the tour. Well, the guy will hit a ball. They never once looked at his swing. They never once looked at the ball. They go over there, the numbers give them this, you're three degrees from the inside, so on and so forth. This is information that helps you and your student learn what's going on, but it's not the end all. So don't put all of your eggs into that one basket. Because if you do it that way, you're really not giving your student the best knowledge you can give them. I've used the, the flight scopes and track mans and, and radar monitors more for club testing, more for, uh, with good players, especially when they change equipment. I don't use it when I teach because I have my own track man right here in my eyes. I look at that ball and it pretty much tells me everything I need to know.